Hello friends, welcome to Tech with us and in the video tutorial series on embedded system. Friends, there are few common topics which are likely to be encountered while programming an embedded system and bit masking is one of them. Understanding this concept thoroughly will make your programming life quite easy and it will make you more comfortable while handling complex logics. So in this video, let's try to master the concept of bit masking with various examples and their practical applications. So let's start. In layman's term, masking means extracting a piece of information from the larger one, which is more of your interest without affecting the actual information. A similar concept can be applied while programming. Masking is an act of applying a mask to a value and it can be achieved by using bitwise operators like AND or XOR. We will perform bitwise AND when we want to extract a subset of bits from the value. We will perform bitwise OR when we want to set a subset of bits in the value and to toggle a bit from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 we will perform bitwise XOR. Let's try to understand it with some examples. Bitwise OR or masking to 1. To make sure a bit is turned on we will OR it with 1 and to make it unchanged it will be ORed with 0. For example, let's say we want to turn on or set the higher nibble of the given byte. In this case, we will OR it with mask 1 to all bits of higher nibble and 0 to all bits of lower nibble. The result of this operation is the higher nibble will be turned on and lower nibble will remain unchanged. By this way, we can make sure all 4 bits in the higher nibble are turned on. Bitwise end or masking to 0 When a bit is ended with 0, the result is always 0. And when it is ended with 1, the result is unchanged. For example, let's say we want to extract the value of lower nibble from the given byte. To get the bits of lower nibble, we need to end it with mask 0 to all bits of higher nibble and 1 to all bits of lower nibble. Result of this operation is the higher nibble will be masked off and lower nibble will remain unchanged. There is one more interesting type of masking which is used to toggle a bit and achieved by bitwise XOR or exclusive OR operation. There is a simple rule of toggling. The bits we want to toggle, we need to mask it with 1 and the bits we want to remain unchanged need to be masked with 0. For example, let's say we want to toggle the lower nibble from the given byte. For this, we need to mask the lower nibble with 1 by using bitwise XOR operation. The result of this operation is bits in the lower nibble will be toggled and bits in the higher nibble will remain unchanged. Let's see a simple but common use of bitwise AND operator for masking. There is a 32-bit value on which I want to extract all 4 bytes and store them in some local variable. For this, I am using two bitwise operators right shift operator and bitwise end operator. Let's try to understand first if we do not use end operator or do not end it with 0xff what value we will get for corresponding local variables after the right shift operation. You can see the desired value is shifted to the rightmost byte or LSB. 
but still we are getting the unwanted bytes also to mask off this unwanted bytes we need to perform bitwise end operation now the result is as desired all four bytes are stored correctly friends as far as execution is concerned bitwise operators are more faster than the arithmetic operators it is highly recommended to use them to make the execution faster for real time applications so here we come to end of this video let me know if you have further doubts regarding bit masking and to get all future updates don't forget to subscribe my channel techvedas.learn thanks for watching hope you like it